Back now at 645 and as the school year winds down, mm -hmm. Georgetown ISD is revving up its plans to buy new school buses. They're powered by propane, which they say is cheaper and cleaner than diesel. Pretty cool. The Transportation Department will present the proposal at tonight's board meeting. Chris Davis joining us now, Chris, with how this will represent a significant portion of the district's fleet. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. We're talking about 33 new buses here. That's more than a quarter of Georgetown ISD's entire fleet. There are still some logistics to figure out here. For one, a fueling station, this diesel one that the district has. It just won't work for these new buses, but district leaders say that is a small price to pay. The propane buses the district says will pay for themselves. They're cheaper to maintain, plus they'll save $75,000 a year on fuel. Diesel prices fluctuates quite a bit throughout the year. Propane prices stay pretty consistent uh, over the years and, and as we track that. And it's about half the cost of what we pay for diesel fuel at the time. Kirby Campbell heads up GISD support services. He knows propane. Back in 2008, he worked for Leander ISD and started replacing buses there with a propane fleet. Now he's bringing his knowledge here. Georgetown is getting nearly one and a half million dollars in grants to help with the cost of the new buses. That money comes from the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality or TCEQ. The district hopes to use either some of that grant money or bond money passed by voters last year to build the new propane fueling station. That should cost around $300,000. It's worth the investment, Campbell says, because the buses are better for the environment and for students. Drivers are excited too. It's kind of like getting a new car, right? So that you get a brand new bus with all the new bells and whistles of a brand new bus. And really excited to be on the propane because they're quiet, clean burning. Unlike the 27 year old diesels, they'll be replacing. So Georgetown ISD hopes to get these new buses on the road by this November. Back to you. Very cool. Chris, thank you. Georgetown got a couple of different grants from the TCEQ to fund them. One is the Texas Clean School Bus Program. So much interest, though, in this one program that the state agency had to suspend its application deadline 10 months early. Yeah, just not enough money available for them. The agency's budget is a little more than $6 million, but they've already received requests for up to $12 million or close to $12 million from different school districts. Austin ISD currently has six propane buses and it gets another six for the next school year through that TCEQ grant. Leander ISD's propane bus fleet about 30% and the district started using them back in 08. 